your first alert weather with meteorologist Mikkel Hannah Harding. Well, good evening. It has been a very soggy evening around the region. We're looking at radar estimated rainfall totals, so not necessarily ground truth, but a pretty good estimate of how much rainfall has fallen. This is just the past 24 hours, and you can see here inside of Bobby Jones possibly picking up over half a foot of rainfall from those storms that are still actively dumping rainfall. And then we're looking at where another uh, flood advisor is in effect in northern Jenkins County. They've picked up. Uh, over five inches of rainfall possibly. Now this is looking at the past three days. You can see those rainfall totals approaching nine and a half inches for areas inside of Bobby Jones Expressway, that same location in Jenkins County, just over seven inches and more impressive rainfall totals in select areas around the region. Not everybody has seen this rainfall quite as intense as others, but as we look at our setup right now, we do have this area of low pressure here at the surface, just parked over the CSRA. Combine that with the upper levels being favorable for rainfall, a lot of atmospheric moisture, and then we do have level of instability still uh, around uh, us as we continue through tonight. So that's providing enough fuel for those thunderstorms, and that's why we've seen so much lightning tonight. But as we look at the radar network, uh, still seeing good coverage of showers and storms across the area. Just highlighting some uh, big trouble spots right now inside of Bobby Jones. Again, we do have that flash flood warning that encompasses the entire Augusta metro area downtown all the way through Gracewood. That goes through uh, 115 uh, as we head into Friday morning. So dealing with these problems overnight for some locations, then we have this flood advisory that goes until about 1215. So just moving past midnight for northern Jenkins County. Uh, also looking at these special weather statements now coming to an end for portions of McDuffie, Warren uh, and Tolliver counties. But as we expand that picture, you can just see how much rainfall is still falling across the region tonight. We do have flood watches in effect that have been extended through 8 a.m. tomorrow for our counties along the Savannah River, Western counties. This still is in effect through 8 p.m. tomorrow as it was earlier. And as we continue through tonight, we'll just keep that chance for a few more of these showers and storms not really seeing that activity come to an end until the very early morning morning hours of your Friday. Even though this model is not picking up on it, these models have been struggling all week uh, with this abnormal upper level pattern. But as we continue into tomorrow, rainfall chances do look to be a little more driven by daytime heating and we'll find those popping back up for your afternoon, about a 40 to 50 percent chance for those as we head through your Friday afternoon and evening. As far as the severe outlook, they have dropped that risk for tonight, but still tracking the threat for a few of those storms. Flash flood risk does continue into tomorrow one more day but as we head towards the weekend we're talking about a much improved forecast in terms of things looking a lot drier for your Saturday and Sunday heading into Monday though those rainfall chances do look to make a return the weekend forecast though shaping up to be pretty nice those temperatures right around 90 and the shades going to be needed as we finally bring back that sunshine and some blue skies quick update on the tropics we are still tracking tropical storm Brent moving towards the west at about 18 miles per hour this will continue into the Caribbean as a tropical storm so not forecasted to strengthen all too much and we now have tropical storm Cindy uh, right behind Brett that's continuing to move towards the west as well and we'll eventually get out into the Atlantic so we'll keep a close eye on that and see exactly where it ends up but thankfully not uh, forecasted to turn into a hurricane as we continue over the next few days but enjoy the drier weekend rainfall comes back for your Monday then looking mostly dry as we head through next week as we head to break giving you a live look at New York City